What's going on guys? In this video, we're talking about how to integrate N8N AI agents into the 12 most popular applications that you probably already love and probably already use on a daily freaking basis. Let's dive into this right now. The first one is pretty simple. We're gonna be getting more crazy as time goes on. Essentially, we're talking about the AI chatbot built into N8N. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can actually just add this straight onto our website over here. As you can see, the chatbot on the right hand side now unfortunately <laughs> my face is probably not situated in the best placement right now because it's probably like blocking half the screen but essentially we have this ai chatbot that we can communicate back and forth with this could help you book appointments this could help you send off invoices this could help deal with customer questions all of that kind of stuff there's just a million and one things we can do here and how this works is inside nadn if we open up the chat widget we can make this publicly available and and then we can choose the mode to have embedded chat. It's gonna give you some instructions here. You just have to hit here and open up this page. Now, inside the installation, this looks very complicated if you're not familiar with code. You don't really have to know anything other than how to copy and paste this text right here into your website. And then uh, it's gonna ask you just for this webhook URL, and you'll find that right here. So you copy this webhook URL, paste it in here, and you add that onto your website, and then you have a fully functioning AI chatbot on your website in a matter of a couple minutes. I could say, hey, and it's just gonna respond back to me in real time. So I think this is really cool. And um, it took me actually a while before I realized that this was possible when using NADEN. And so that is number one. Now, I'm just gonna turn this on and actually show you guys what that looks like because right now it's loading here. So I'm gonna refresh the page and just say, hey. And all of a sudden it's going to message us back. Okay, perfect. Number one is out of the way. We're gonna move on to number two, which is Telegram, which is probably one of the easiest AI agent setups you can do outside of the built-in chatbot within NADEN. And so, in a nutshell, what we're doing here is we're just communicating back and forth with Telegram. That is a disgusting amount of apps that I have open, but unfortunately I needed all those for this <laughs> video. So in, a, in, in this instance, what we can do is we can just message back and say, hey, um, how's it going? And inside this workflow, okay, conveniently I didn't test the workflow. Sweet, it received the message, sent it through the AI agent. We came up with a response and then sent that back. Let's take a look and see what it said. I'm just a program, but I'm here and ready to help. How can I assist you today? Wow, that's very insightful, ChatGPT. Thank you very much for that. Um, so there we have it. We have a Telegram bot that's up and running. This is very simple to set up. I have tons of videos online on how to do this. Um, but yeah, essentially in a nutshell, I'm not gonna go over the exact setup for all of these in these videos. But yeah, you can just hit the uh, pencil button here and then open the docs when doing the integration and it's going to walk you through exactly how to set this up as well as all of the other ones in a matter of a couple minutes. Now, the next one that I want to talk about is Twilio. Now, what Twilio is, is it's a application to send text messages, to send phone calls, all of that kind of stuff. So, the thing is, is Twilio is a double-edged sword. It is one of the biggest pain in the asses to set up, unless you're somebody that loves getting into the weeds with technicality and has a lot of time to spend doing this kind of stuff. You're probably not going to like this very much. I always get anxiety coming over here because they make everything as complicated as humanly possible. Something that should take like five minutes could drag out for a month. So anyways, the double-edged sword part of this is that it's actually pretty easy to set up in NADN, which is a breath of fresh air. But for most other things, it's not always that easy. So how this works is you can sign up for a free account up here. And then once you're inside your account, you get access to these three things. You get access to an account SID, auth token, and then they actually give you a phone number to test out right away. Now, what you can do is you can come in, create your integration, and just essentially grab the three things you need here. Now, the cool thing is this is actually just on the homepage. So as soon as you set up an account, you're going to get access to all these three things, and then you're going to be off the races in a matter of like three minutes or less. And then essentially, we can just send text messages back and forth to each other. And this is cool because not only could you send yourself text, this could be like a personal assistant for you. But you could also use this to communicate with clients or with your team members or whatever the case may be. So this is really powerful if you want to do text messaging. The next one that I want to talk about here is 
Siri. So I think this is really, really cool. I'm going to turn this one on here. But essentially, this was created by Max, who works with NADN. Really smart guy. He creates a lot of cool automations for NADN. And essentially, I took the blueprints from him and I connected in Siri. So we can go ahead, run this workflow and give it a shot. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Hey, Siri, ask agent. How's it going today? And we can see that we received a message back. The message has gone through, been received, sent back. And we can even turn on voice so that we can communicate just through talking to one another, which I think is super cool. The next one that I want to go over, and by the way, I'm going to leave the blueprints for this in the description for free. There's going to be a link in the description to the blueprints for free. The next one I want to go over is emails. So let's say that you have a very busy inbox. You're getting emails all the freaking time, all day, and you want to clean this up. You could run an AI agent on your inbox that just essentially takes messages and then acts accordingly. So let's take a look at this inbox here. We have multiple different labels. Of course, as emails come through, we can just essentially respond back to them. But we could take it a step further as well as we and we could segment these e emails based on the labels that we assign them to. So if something comes through and it's for recruitment, we can deal with it differently or segment that audience relative to anything to do with customer service or anything to do with personal or accounting or whatever the case may be. So this is a great place to start, but ultimately speaking, it's just a launching pad for you to take something like this and then, um, yeah, make it something way better. And I have videos on exactly how to do this on my YouTube channel for free. We can go ahead and test this out. Essentially, we have an email coming in and then we reply immediately back to that email automatically. Super cool stuff. The next one that I want to talk about here is CRM, specifically how we can integrate in our AI agents into our particular CRM. Now you could use HubSpot, you could use Salesforce. In my example, I'm going to be using Go High Level because I've been using that for six years. Now, the thing with Go High Level is it's a CRM for sales and marketing automation. It's a jack of all trades, master of none, it costs quite a bit here, $97, but it is fantastic when it comes to automation, in my opinion. Now, just as a side note here, I do offer this pretty much for free in my community here, which is currently at the time of this recording, $70, and I give it for $1 per month. I wish I could actually give it for free. <laughs> the goal is not to make money here, obviously, but it's just that in order for, you to, for me to automate the process of onboarding people, I do need to charge something, and that minimum is $1. So take, for instance, this workflow. I'm going to go ahead and test this out and then open up my instance of Go High Level here. And so essentially, I can communicate back and forth with customers in real time. So I'm going to go ahead, open my phone and send off a message here. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, how's it going? And we can see in real time, this text message is going to come in. And then it's going to process that text message through the AI agent because we received a new text message. It's going to send it back. And then we're going to see the response in real time through the CRM. Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? Why I think this is so powerful is because if you are dealing with customers, there's a million and one benefits to this. Okay, maybe not a million and one, but <laughs> there's a lot. First of all, um, let's say you're dealing with sales and your whole team left the office Friday at 6 p.m. Somebody messaged you at 7 and your office isn't in until Monday morning at 8. That's a long time for people to wait, whereas a system like this can automatically set an appointment for Monday when you return. The second thing is, is like you can integrate this directly into so many other things like a vector database. My most, uh, my favorite is Pinecone here. So if we go over to Pinecone, this is a great database. Now I'm just going to give like the simplest example of this that I possibly can. And so think about, you know, comparing a chatbot like this to an AI agent or to an employee. So with an employee, when you hire somebody, you have to train them. You have to train them on how to send SMS messages or emails. You have to train them on the standard operating procedures of your company. Uh, and I'm just actually going to freeze this here. So SMS and email standard 
operating procedures. You have to train them probably on contracts and invoices. You have to train them on how to communicate, all of that kind of stuff, right? Um, there's just a million things. You could also train an AI agent like uh, or a vector database like Pinecone, and it's going to remember all of that information. And anytime somebody has a question, just like asking an employee, they could ask this AI uh, agent that's connected to Pinecone or a vector database. And it's going to give you the closest answer possible. So for instance, if somebody's like, how much are your services? It's going to take a look at all of the information it has on that's trained specifically on your particular company. And it's going to be like, well, you know, typically you charge $1,200 to $1,500. And so this is what we're going to say back. Well, we charge twelve dollars to $1,500. And we charge this because of X, Y, and Z. And so you could even elaborate on that and it could give a detailed response back. So very powerful stuff. You can integrate that straight into your particular CRM. Now, the next thing here that I want to talk about is WhatsApp. I'm not going to go too in detail about this one, but essentially with WhatsApp, you can communicate back and forth, whether it's you communicating via personal assistant, whether it's your clients, whether it's um, whether it's your team members, all of that kind of stuff. You can integrate it in here. This is really powerful. It's probably one of the most popular ones because you know there's probably like a billion people that uh, <laughs> use this. And so this is something that you can build out straight through AnyDen. The next one that I want to talk about here is Slack. Another Another incredibly powerful and insanely useful tool. Now, what I think, what I see a lot of people using this for is I see a lot of people building internal AI agents to help their employees. So if an employee has a question, they can ask the AI agent in the Slack for a customized answer and it'll go ahead and it'll deliver that answer to them. So for instance, if we come over to Slack here, I'm just going to test this workflow out here. First of all, I need to deactivate it and then we're going to test it out. And I'm going to head over to Slack and I can just send messages. Hey, um, hey, how's it going? And in real time, it's going to receive that Slack message, send it back, and we can receive um, an answer immediately, which I think is really cool. And so this is a great way for or a great resource for your team to have in case they ever get stuck. The only downside about this is, well, Slack definitely and, and, and definitely don't make it easy to integrate into uh, one another. And this takes probably like 30 minutes to set up, maybe 60 minutes. And now moving on past this, what I want to talk about as the next automate or the next interface is chat GBT. I think this one is really, really cool. Again, what we can do here is we can upload whatever message we want. It could include uploading a receipt and we could say, hey, I want you to parse the information and it will go through. It will take all of the information here, parse it like we can see here. And then we can just send it off into NADAN, connect it in to our own external AI agent, and then allow that AI agent to do whatever it is we want. We can unlock the ability for ChatGPT to communicate with tens of thousands of applications. Anything you see on this side here, you can now give access to from ChatGPT, which I think is really, really cool. Another thing that you can do is very similarly the same thing, but this time on Claude. And by the way, for ChatGPT, I have a video. I'll link that down below. I'll also link Claude down below. I have a video on that as well. But essentially, we can just ask anything we want here. So I could be like, hey, please schedule a coffee meeting for tomorrow at 2 p.m. And it's going to have access to my calendar here, and it's going to run in the background. How this works is we have this MCP server, which is waiting for data to be sent via Claude. And so when Claude sends the data off, it's going to receive it in this MCP server, and it's going to take some particular action please send and i say please here because well <laughs> uh, it's just what canadians do i don't i don't really know what else to uh to say to that um perfect so send a calendar invitation all sounds good please send and i think claude is just being stubborn right now and it just doesn't want to work with me here Okay, perfect. It's going to ask for additional information. And we are going to essentially move on from this because I don't want to spend any more time. But essentially, you can just ask Claude to do things and it will automatically connect in here. It might just ask for a couple of additional pieces of information. 
if it doesn't have access to it already. The last thing that I want to go over in this video is how you can connect your AI agent to a custom software application, which sounds confusing as hell, but it's really not. So there's this application called Lovable, which allows you to vibe code. What that means is you can just write in text here and you can turn that into a fully functioning web application. You can see some of them right here. Literally takes five minutes to do, maybe even less. What I'm, what I find this fascinating because for me, like I had to do it the hard way. I learned how to custom code. I just like many of you watching this, you know, you go on, you have no chat GPT to guide you through the process. You t spend 10 hours trying to figure out the most simple error. You waste all the time in the world <laughs> learning it. And then something like this rolls out and it makes like what you built in 10 months obsolete in a matter of like somebody spending five minutes building it out. Um, not actually like five minutes, <laughs> like for something super complicated, but um, it just lowers the barrier of entry into software development by a huge margin and now you can create full-blown web applications. Now this is a very simple application here. Essentially what's going on is we're creating social media content for our clients. They can come in, they can request a post, they hit this, they hit publish and it's going to connect into this backend interface here, which receives that. You can connect into an AI agent if you wanted to and then send a response back. And <clears throat> another use case for this in terms of AI agents, which I see all the time is people are like, hey, I run a Airbnb business or I run a hotel or I run some customer service front desk and I want the ability for people to message me and ask questions and get a response back like, hey, here's how to check in. Here's how to get the keys. Here's how to do X, Y, or Z. And so something like this is a great way for you to be able to do that. It could be through Lovable. It could be through any of these other mediums as well. But those are the 11 ways that amazing ways that you can connect NADN into the apps that you already use every single day, already love. And um, that's essentially it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found value in this. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I'm sure if you like this video, you're going to love the other ones as well. And lastly, if you guys are interested in taking it to the next level, highly recommend taking a look at the school community here. Essentially, there's two reasons why you join. Number one is because you already run a business and you just want to automate everything. I um, fell in love with AI automation about eight years ago, got massively obsessed with it and figured out how to automate my entire business to the point where I just replaced myself. So one of the two main goals here is just to allow people to get the same um, results by automating up to 80% of their business. And the second cohort of people is for people that are looking to create an AI automation agency, find clients, sell clients, all that kind of stuff. And I'll tell you the exact process, which I think is probably the easiest process out there for anyone to go through, What and which also worked tremendously well for me as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you found value. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.